Hi there, my future doctors, chemists, and scientists. Welcome to Chemistry Lab. My name is Miss Kalmo, and today's lesson is lab safety. So let's begin. The objective for today is to understand the purpose and significance of lab safety. Lab safety begins with you before you enter the lab. Always read through the lab instructions before each lab session. Ask questions concerning the lab before starting any experiment. By practicing these habits, you will be well on your way in successfully passing the labs. In order to participate, you must be appropriately dressed for each lab session. Proper personal protective equipment, also known as PPE, must be worn always in the laboratory. Wear a lab coat that covers the arms. Wear safety glasses with thigh shields. When handling chemicals that can cause eye damage or have the potential to splash, wear full covered goggles or a face mask. Do not wear contacts in the laboratory, as chemicals can lodge behind them, causing eye damage or can fuse the contacts to the eyes. Wear long pants or skirts and closed toed shoes and tie hair back if long. Do not wear shorts, short skirts, loose clothing, sandals, or dangling jewelry. Wear appropriate gloves at all times in the lab and take them off prior to exiting the lab. Gloves should never touch common surfaces outside of the lab, including door handles, elevator buttons, and cell phones. When using highly toxic or corrosive chemicals, Ensure that you are using the proper glove type. Here are some safe lab practices. Never work alone without an instructor present. Do not touch anything unless being instructed to. Do not eat or drink nor chew gum in the lab. Always keep your workstation tidy. Always handle chemicals with care and no emergency procedures. In the event of a lab accident, report any accident, incident, or hazard to the teacher immediately. Do not pick up broken glass with bare hands. Do not place broken glass in trash bins. Wash eyes with copious amount of water for 20 minutes if chemicals get into eyes. Wash affected skin with copious amount of water for at least 20 seconds if chemicals get onto skin. In case of a fire, alert persons to evacuate and evacuate using the nearest emergency exit. Stop, drop, and roll with a fire blanket if your lab partner is caught on fire. Finally, at the end of your lab time, dispose all chemicals properly. Wash and dry all used equipment, your lab bench, and cleanup area. Return all materials and equipment used to their proper places. And wash your hands before exiting the lab. Last but not least, always remember safety first. Thanks for watching students and see you again until the next one.